Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to share folders between a host PC and a VirtualBox virtual machine running Ubuntu, uh, but it could be running any guest operating system. Um, this is just an example. Okay, so um, in the background here, I have my um, Ubuntu virtual machine, and it you can see it's up and running. And here's the VirtualBox um, manager. Uh, so if I want to share a folder between my host and my Ubuntu, uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, Windows or Linux as the host. In my case, I'm using Zubuntu as the host, but it could easily be Windows. It doesn't matter. VirtualBox is the same on either. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Settings. And I'm going to go down to Shared Folders. And you see there's two types of shared folder. There's Machine Folders. Uh, our machine folders are folders that you intend to share between the host and the guest PC um, for a long period of time, uh, generally permanently. Uh, transient folders are folders that you're going to share for a um, short period of time uh, and you don't necessarily uh, intend to keep them for a long period at all. So uh, the one I'm going to show you today is a uh, machine folder. And uh, what we're going to do is going to click on the machine folders and we're going to click on the plus symbol and we're going to choose the folder that we want to share uh, so if you click on the download and click on other uh, if you're on windows this will show you windows explorer and you can navigate to the folder you want to share um, i'm on zubuntu so sharing a zubuntu file manager and all i need to do is navigate down to pictures navigate down to wallpapers because that's what i'm going to share these three pictures here click on open and then you can choose whether it's read only or not. Uh, that means that on your guest machine, they have the access to read and copy the files to the guest machine, but they don't have the ability to overwrite the folder. Uh, so that might be something you, you want to do. It depends whether you want two way communication between the host and virtual PC or not. Uh, then auto mount, I recommend checking that. At the wise you have to do it um, within the virtual machine itself and then you have to choose where you're going to mount that folder to so i'm going to say mount forward slash wallpapers and then you can choose whether to make it permanent or not and in this case i'm going to say yes so i can permanently share my wallpapers for my virtual uh, for my host pc to my virtual pc and i'm going to click ok and i'm going to click ok again and then I can now go to my Ubuntu, I'm going to go full screen, uh, and I'm going to click on the folder icon here, I'm going to go down to other locations, uh, click on computer, I'm going to click on MNT because that's where I'm mounted to, and you can see there's a wallpapers folder, I'm going to double click on that, and you can see I've got the three pictures available here, uh, to prove the point I can open that up. And this picture is stored on my host PC, but you can see it in my guest PC. Now you may find that when you try and click on the folder, it's got a little cross on it and you have to enter your password. And worse than that, you have to enter your password twice. And I'm gonna show you how you get around that problem. Control-Alt-T opens the terminal. sudo add user Gary Vbox. SF. Uh, might need a reboot, so we're going to do that now. Let's go full screen again. Uh, right, so if we go to home, uh, other locations, computer, mount. You see it's not got across this time, so I can go into the wallpapers and I can view it without any issues whatsoever. And that's how you get rid of the um, authentication issue every time you want to um, access a folder on the host machine. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button because there's some more of these uh, virtual box videos coming up. Uh, there's also a review of Garuda coming up. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.